Hey, good afternoon, family. Pastor Artie here with your manna. No coffee because I'm driving in a car. Well, I actually stopped the car. I'm not driving right now. <laughs> hey, I wanted to talk to you about, do you trust in God completely? Or do you find yourself being apprehensive every now and then? Well, you know, I trust in God to take care of me. Now, I know that there's a lot of things that can happen in our lives. You know, we can have good years, we can have bad years, we can have down years, we can have so-so years. But you know what? Overall, God takes care of us 100% of the time. You know, I just got done at the doctor and, and I was encouraged by what I heard from him. You know, he said that, you know, I'm healing up fine. A lot of things that were wrong are correcting themselves. And, and I like that because you know, it shows that the prayers are actually working. Now, these things didn't have to happen to me, but they did. And it kind of reminded me of that scripture where the Bible tells us that Satan comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. Since he can no longer go to God and say, well, I want to tempt Pastor Artie, you know, he's going to use other things. He's going to use my health. He's going to use things, you know, the funny thing is the surgery was caused because of a bacteria. I didn't wish for that to happen to me. It just did. And I wound up having to have the surgery. But you know what? I was so blessed by what my doctor said. He goes, you got a great outlook on life. And I said, why not, doc? Because I'm a Christian and I'm a pastor. I mean, I love telling people it's going to be all right. You know, to coin a phrase of a song, it's a new day. And it is a new day. Because God has got you in the palm of his hand. And it says that which he holds on to, nothing can snatch it out. Nothing, not even Satan can snatch you out of his grip. You know, if Christ lives on the inside of you, that takes care of the inside, right? And if he's omnipresent everywhere at all times, he's around you. He's protecting the outside of you. So there are only two sides to every argument, the inside and the outside, or the good and the bad. So he's already taken care of you. What are you worried about? You see, even in the hospital, I wasn't worried. One of the nursing supervisors that came to talk to me, you know, she has her degree in psychology. She tried to see if I was doing okay, if I had any post-traumatic stress or post-operative trauma. And I sat there talking to her and we actually wound up talking about her marriage. And I was counseling her. <laughs> now, I didn't say that I was a Christian. I just gave her godly counsel in a worldly format that she would understand. But yet, it was the Word of God ministering to her. And matter of fact, when she left, she goes, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. And I said, well, thank you for wanting to come and talk to me. You know? So, family, it, you never know. You never know what you're going to go through in life. You know, I heard of a pastor that I knew when I was at Harvest, uh, Dennis Davenport, I guess he had a, a minor heart attack, you know, but I'm sure that he wound up witnessing to his nurses. These are nothing but little bumps in the road. And Christians, we don't hit those bumps of the road at 150 miles an hour. We slow down to a crawl because we never know who we're going to meet going over the hump. Today, family, if you're worried about things that are going on in your life and you're like, why me, God? Well, I got news for you. Here's one. Why not you? Maybe God's doing it for a reason. Even though this world is out to steal, kill, and destroy you, God's purpose is that you have life and life more abundantly. May you have a blessed day. Linda and I are praying for you. Remember to lift her up in prayer. She's got a cold. So uh, just remember to pray for her, that uh, God will bring healing to her in Jesus' name. And we love you guys. The rest of the staff here at Rock, we're praying for you. And we hope you have an amazing rest of the week. It's Friday tomorrow. You made it. God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.